this is Dave from geekanoids.co.uk and in this video I'm taking a look at the new QuickTime 10 player that was included as part of Apple's Snow Leopard operating system. QuickTime 10 brings with it some of the pro features that you previously had to pay for which I'll show you in a minute. As well as these new features we also get a new user interface. When we click play we're presented with a borderless window to present your videos in. This looks very nice and clean. As well as the new borderless display, if we go into the edit menu, we get a new trim feature. And this gives you a user interface similar to what we've been used to with the iPhone 3GS. Here you can drag in your start and end points of the video. When you're happy with your selection, you click trim and you now have a shorter version of the video which you can then send on to a friend. Of course we can undo the trim as well. As well as this new trim feature, we also get a new share option. Here we can share our video with iTunes, Mobile Me Gallery and YouTube. Selecting YouTube allows you to designate a particular YouTube account and this will compress your video and automatically upload it to your account. For further export options we have to go to the File Save As menu and here we get additional sharing options for saving an HD 480p or 720p version of the video. Also under this file menu we get a save for web option. This allows you to select three presets for saving your movie which are optimised for iPhone, iPhone cellular network use and computer. Well I must say that I am quite impressed with the new QuickTime 10 player. Yes you have lost some of the functionality that was previously in the pro version of QuickTime but Apple have included an installer for QuickTime 7 on the Snow Leopard install discs. Well thanks very much for listening, come back soon and check out more reviews on geekanoids.co.uk This video review is sponsored by Crucial, the memory experts. They provide reliable PC, notebook and Mac memory to boost your system performance and improve your general workflow.